starting out as a fashion photographer, she's now in hot demand as an illustrator, creative consultant and guest speaker. Currently in Auckland as an official delegate for New Zealand Fashion Week, please welcome to the cafe, Kelly Thompson. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So you're Thank living you in Melbourne me. at the moment, but you're just here for the week? Yeah, I just arrived on Sunday night, so I'm here until Friday. Is this where your now. fashion photography career started? Well, I actually studied at Massey in Wellington, so I used to shoot in Wellington and then come to Auckland all the time for work and do lots of stuff with magazines here and then eventually I ended up moving to Melbourne in the end. So. And have you always been interested in fashion? Yeah, I've always loved yeah. it. When I was a kid, I used to have these really funny, because I draw all the time, um, I used to have massive sheets of paper and I'd draw all of these models on the catwalk and they'd all be like poison ivy and in these crazy little <laughs> outfits and stuff. I mean, mum still has them, so it's always been kind of part of my... My life. Oh, I'm so pleased she hung on to them. I know. Awesome. I don't know if I'm that pleased about it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love, you got to love mums for that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, totally. So you went into the fashion and photography side of thing and illustration. You never were tempted to be a designer. Well, I still maybe am a little bit tempted to be a designer. I'm doing a course at the moment. I kind of, I don't know. I always have my finger in lots of different fashion pies, I guess. And every now and then, I think maybe I could do it for myself. So. Who knows, maybe I'll be back in five years talking to you guys about that. Wow. <laughs> we'll Ooh, see. Nice. Okay, so what, what is an actual, uh, excuse my ignorance, but what is a delegate? Um, so a delegate, they bring people, there are by people buying for stores and um, online stores from around the world, and they also bring over uh, influencers, I like to call them. Kelly's an influencer. No, no I don't, no, I don't okay. like no, that no. word very much, <laughs> but they like to bring over people who will, I guess, um, organically act as press. So we share things on our website so we share things through social media just to kind of have a little bit of insider information about what's going on so mm. it's kind of an alternative press channel I guess. Now tell me a little bit more about your illustrating because uh, did you ever think you'd be able to make money doing this? Uh, well I never really planned for it to be my job so when I was working as a photographer I used to shoot all these beautiful models all the time and they'd always be so sassy and so posy and then there's a spot where they stop posing and that was the bit that I became the time that I became really interested in so I started to draw that and then the illustration just started to take over after a while and then it just kind of became my job without me really planning on it. Oh, so We should have a look at some of them so we can get an idea oh, yeah. of what we're about. Have you got some? Oh, wow. that's awesome. Okay, can you explain what that is? So, um, a lady? Usually for fashion weeks, because I, I used to work for MAC Cosmetics as well, so right. I was really interested in the makeup. So a lot of time for fashion weeks, I illustrate my favourite makeup looks. So this is from Sydney Fashion Week last year. Wow, you and really are quite the talent, aren't you? <laughs> I like to keep myself busy. <laughs> and I guess that's your creative hub, isn't it? Now yep. that you've got sort of illustration going on, you've got fashion going on, and you're creative, are you working? Well, oh, that's that's a good picture. Yeah, <laughs> that one. That one's a pretty popular one. That one. <laughs> Who's that for? Was that just? Um, so that was actually a girl called Siannon. She was a model that I photographed years and years ago, and she. Um, I just love shooting her because she was so confident and so much fun and I just decided to put her in a bed of bunny rabbits. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> just for fun. Oh, that is incredible. Is it, is it hard work for anyone that, you know, perhaps is looking at this and is looking at you, yeah. thinking I want to do this for a job? It's, what advice would you give? It's very hard work. Um, you, I would say, be nice to people, um, get your work done on time and you've just got to push. Like, you've got to sacrifice a lot mm. and you've really got to push if you want to make it your job. It's definitely not something that just turns up one day. There's another one of your illustrations. Oh, I like that too. Oh, that's Holly Rose. So she's a New Zealand model as well. And she is, like, her face is just perfect. She's amazing. Beautiful. So I do a, did a few illustrations. Oh, that's bright. I love that one. So you've got a shop online too that sells your art. Yes, I do. And you've got like a, a creative agency working with some really big brands as well. Yeah. A guest speaker. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything in particular that you enjoy the most? Is there one sort of angle that you want to go down more? <sighs> I really like fashion is something that I'm really I really love and it's kind of something that's kind of woven in between everything that I've been doing mm. so that's definitely something that I enjoy the most but the older I get the more I want to be collaborating with other people and be more involved with people so you know like working as an illustrator you're by yourself a lot mm. and the older I get the more I want to just work with other people and see where I can take my creativity, I guess. You know? What's the best part? Is it the creation or is it the finished product? Um, it depends on what the project is if it's a client and they're not your favorite client then it's definitely the end <laughs> but um i personally really enjoyed the start when you're really excited about it and you're coming up with all the ideas that's my favorite part i think mm. and then actually when you see it at the end that's also kind of rewarding you know? oh, so so it's a little fun. bit of everything yeah a little bit of fun <laughs> yeah, too, by the it looks is fun. of it so what have you looked forward to most about fashion week well, I was really excited to come back and see Wynn Hamlin's show because I did a collaboration with him for the event. So we, um, he designed 
or he planned to have a whole lot of rugs um, down the catwalk and I designed the floral that was printed on the rugs and then he put it on silk as well. So that was really exciting to see finally in real life after all of the planning. Um, it was also amazing to see the Salasai show because they're longtime friends of mine and it was their 10th birthday. So oh, nice. it was nice to be part of that and come back in town for that. And of course, just catching up catching with everyone up. is fun. Yeah, you know, it's it. kind of just a big hangout and everyone's all in the same place at the same time. So that doesn't happen very often, so it's kind of a treat, you know. I can imagine. Mm, well, nice it's been a pleasure way. having you in the studio. Thanks so yeah. much. Thanks, Thanks so much, here. Kelly. Um, and if you, can, if you want to see more of Kelly's work, you can go to her website, kellythompsoncreative.com.